Of course, the government is due to set out its budget later this month. No one is expecting a silver bullet. Just some very difficult months ahead. Now, the Department for Transport says that Milton Keynes is one of the fastest places in the country to charge an electric vehicle. The city has around 450 rapid charge points, which can top up a battery to 80% in around 20 minutes. But does that mean the experience for drivers there is a good one? Andy Holmes has been to find out. Cliff's been driving his hybrid electric vehicle around Milton Keynes for four years, so he knows where to find charge points that work but he doesn't have to drive far to find ones that don't. We're in the centre of Milton Keynes now and we've got charge points here. Let's have a look. What's the situation here? Well, with this one, it's, it's quite clear that it's not working. And you can tell that because there should be lights on indicating that there's power and there should be a display on the screen telling you what to do next. Situation very similar here. We do have two cars which are plugged in, but Unfortunately for them, they're not getting any charge because, again, there's no lights, the display is dead, therefore there's nothing happening here. MK has 162 charge points per 100,000 people. That's three times the national average. This is one like the ones we saw earlier which were completely dead. This isn't dead, it's got power, but the red light's on there and the glitch on the screen tells us that this is uh, no long, not available for use at the moment. I can't plug my car into this. So there's two spaces here which unfortunately are unusable. Cliff's not the only one having problems. They're, they're rubbish. I've just spent an hour going up and down in Milton Keynes trying to find a charger that works. Most of them are being retired. Some of them the screens don't work. So it's been a poor experience. It's a green city and the charging infrastructure needs to work um, and with BP Pulse consistently their charges just aren't working, they're broken and they're not being fixed so it's a big issue for electric car drivers. The majority of MK's public charging points are run by BP Pulse and owned by the City Council. We started installing the electrical charging infrastructure quite early. We were a really early adopter and so some of that technology has become obsolete and for various reasons some of those charge points haven't been um, repaired. Uh, some because they'll be replaced quite soon with much faster chargers, much more modern chargers. Some of that's to do with challenges around getting components. Um, I think at the moment it stands about one in ten of the charge points are out of order at the moment and, and we are working on it. It's hoped those upgrades will happen as early as next year and the council also wants more charging points in older parts of the city too. Andy Holmes, BBC Look East, Milton Keynes.